Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, it's a process. So it doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, something that started when I got here back, you know, back in uh, 2017, coming out of high school early. And, uh, you know, it's going to continue, you know, until my career ends here. Is that a tough lesson to understand? No, I think it's something I've understood, you know, coming since I've been here. Uh, you know, you, you, you'll never see it all. You know, there's always going to be things that you can't experience in practice until you get into a game situation. So as, you know, as I've been playing, I've become more comfortable with seeing, you know, new things and just kind of reacting and, and playing. Now that you've had a chance to watch the game again, digest it, study it, and sort of move on, I mean, do you have a, a better sense for, you know, what happened on, on a lot of the sacks that you took that, you know, contributed to negative yardage and stuff like that throughout? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, some some I can get control of, some I can, some I need to just throw away, you know, and live to see another day and, and not try to, you know, scramble and see if I can make a throw. Instead, just getting the ball out of my hand and just kind of, you know, live to see another down and, you know, move on from there. We were talking with Coach Watson about sort of the, their – desire to not take your instinctual ability away from you and, and they'll give you the freedom when you see a lane go ahead and take it how, how much how does that play out in, in your head as you're just trying to think about what you want to do and the way you want to do things in, in the passing game uh really i'm just playing you know the way i've known how to play honestly if i see you know if there's a lane that splits and i can just take it instead of throwing the ball and i can take it for 12 and run it and get down i'm gonna absolutely do that i think that's the smart thing to do instead of trying to i think it happened in the uh i want to say it was a two minute drill before we scored i think there was one time we went empty it kind of cleared out and i was like you know i'm just going to take it and, and and get you know get the first down and then we'll move on from there something i've been doing for for a long time and you know like coach wise said just let my instincts take over i see a guy you know i'm gonna throw it if you know there's nothing there and i can make a play i'll try to make a play are there moments when you watch the film that maybe you know give your receiver an extra second and they're coming open, or are you still seeing times where uh, you know you just still have to maybe build that trust a little more even? Yeah, I mean it's easy to say from the film room, uh, you know, when the bullets are flying and you know you feel like that pressure's coming, and you don't think you're gonna be able to get the ball out in time. You don't want to take a sack. You want to try to make make a positive play out of something. And that's what I think I need to take ownership of, and just if it's not there, just throw it away, or you know, don't take that negative play that, that can that can hurt, you know, field position especially, yeah, and then you know, and hurt our defense by giving them poor poor field position. When you guys are playing a team, oh sorry, uh, like like UCF with uh, such an with uh, such an up tempo offense that can really tire and wear down a defense. From from the offensive end, how much more of an emphasis or importance is there? Oh, and you guys having somewhat sus, uh, sustained drives, not going three and out, not even you know going six and out or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I think you know you can't really overthink it. You know, the main goal is to go score. I think we you know we put up some good points last week. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to duplicate probably even more this week because of how you know talented they are offensively. And you know, it's a team. It's a team game. So you know, they're gonna have to. The defense have to lean on us a little bit. You know, this week to go out. Do our job, control control the ball, and we're just gonna try to help them out as, as much as we can. Maurice had a pretty big game statistically. Uh, has he gotten better? Have you guys gotten on the same page? What sort of led to, to his emergence? I think it's just what the defense gave us that game. Like we, me and him, were talking actually today. You know, sometimes they're gonna take things away, and you know they're gonna cloud the boundary, and they're not gonna let you throw the boundary. So you're gonna have to take it. You know, take the option to the field. That's why we have you know a good group of receivers that can go make plays like like Maurice did. Uh, you know, I told him I was real proud of him. He had a, you know a hell of a game. And that's what we you know we expect to have you know moving forward, even with other pieces. That, so it was him that game. You know, next game you don't know who it could be, who it's going to be. It's just how how kind of football rolls and how how the game is. As a quarterback so with good wheels, is it a, an adjustment for you to sit in the pocket and be patient and give your guy an extra two seconds to get open? Uh, not really an adjustment. I think I, there's times that I do that, and then like I said earlier, there's times where there's a lane, and, and you know why risk the throw when I can take the run. That's kind of my mindset. If I can run it as far as I can throw it, you know, if I throw it and he gets tackled at ten, why not just run it and get there? Uh, and, and just be, be be smart with the ball. Uh, you know, there's times I stepped up and uh, you know made some throws where I was taking some shots, and I could care less about taking the shots as long as I make the throws. Really, all I care about. Um, you know, the line had a great game. Uh, you know, I love, like I said, I love like, every single one of those guys. You know, we have our like Thursday or Wednesday night dinner. We go out and you know just talk about you know the week and uh, you know what we need to do this week. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just really taking that next step as an offense, I think, will be the deal this week. You know, with, with a with a talented offense on the other side, taking it one play at a time, doing your job and, and moving the ball. So you and your linemen go out together on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. You mentioned with Maurice, is this where the depth that you were discussing in, in preseason and in camp really pays off? Absolutely, yeah. So, I, well, you know, like I just said, you know, he it wasn't his time. You know, other games it was, you know, Taysir was getting the looks and. That game to try to take away Taysir, he still had some you know big plays, some unreal catches, 
and then you know Maurice popped open, and then you know next week could be Ra Ra. You know you really don't know. It's all about the the game plan and the scheme and the defense and who who it's going to be that week. Where are you guys going tonight? Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> I think uh, it was the Mexican place on campus, uh, Ray Bob Bouquet. Uh, Max, Max. Max. Oh, Max. Max. Yeah, yeah. Might, might be stopping by there, so we'll see. You're supposed to say the yard, home of the <laughs> Pat Narduzzi. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 How much do you enjoy this challenge? Top 15 team on the road. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, no, there's nothing like it. It's like, you know, no one expects you to win. Like, going in there and stunning a team. I've done it in my career before in college and high school, and it, there's, no, there's no better feeling than going in and, and beating someone that nobody expects you to beat. So we're going to go in there and give them everything we have.